The 2025 Feeding Quality Forum stressed that genetics and strong partnerships are key for cow-calf producers to capture beef premiums. Hosted by Certified Angus Beef, speakers noted every operation faces unique challenges, making modern herd development tools essential for success. Each particular operator has a cert certain set of constraints, whether it be management, or environment that affect their levels of the relevant, economically relevant traits that their particular environment and management can affect. Many times we want to categorize and say, this is the best animal, and the best animal depends on their management and environment and their market. McCullough says today's genomic tools give producers more predictability than ever before. We do trust our eyes and we rely on our eyes and they've actually served us well over the last 150 years, but we now have genetic predictions that are enhanced with genomic information that get at the actual genes and they add that extra layer of predictability, which in this business, when we think about the generation interval in cattle, which means from the time that a breeder decides to use a bull on his cows, it's essentially five years before he can say that was a good decision. These tools, these genomic enhanced EPDs, are one more layer of increasing the odds of a favorable outcome when you use a specific bull. That added predictability extends into the feedlot, where feeders are looking to partner with ranchers willing to use data to improve their herds and deliver more prime beef. We really start with the easy pickings or the low hanging fruit, um, health and all of those things, getting that dialed in, knowing that this is what we want set. And then we really start targeting that carcass and the quality. And where we really help them out is bringing that data. And uh, with Upper Iowa Beef, we are able to get uh, very conclusive lot information back that is very easy to read and that is how we're moving forward to try to help them. Hey, do we need to change the genetic profile of this bull or do we need a little heavier carcass or a little lighter carcass? And it's simple things. We never make drastic changes because you always need to know where you came from and where you're going. For cow calf producers, the takeaway is clear. Set breeding goals, use today's tools, and build partnerships that bring value back to the ranch.